Okay, so let's start again. Back to question 5.3. Calculate the length of DE if A is equal to two and a half units. Right, so let's look very carefully at, let's look carefully at this, right? So what do we have? So we got the distance from A to the origin and we know that that is one and a half units, okay? They tell us that the distance of A to E is two and a half units. So if from A to the origin is one and a half units, how much more must it now be to E for us to get two and a half units? One more unit, isn't it? So that means that E has to be one at zero because E is an x-intercept. Can you see that? Okay, so E is now going to be one and zero. Now this line is a vertical line which means that the coordinates of C is also going to be one, or the X coordinate, I should say, is going to be one. So I just need to find the Y coordinate, okay? So I need to find the Y coordinate. So I need to substitute into this equation for G. So it's going to be G of one equals two. Two times one plus three equals two, five. Therefore, D is going to be 1 and 5. five. So therefore, the coordinates or the length, I should say, of DE is going to equal to, from here now, 5. And that Y value is 0. So that's E is 1 and 0. So let's just say, well, if you say, well, you, right, you're going to subtract. You can say 5 minus 0, which is going to be, remember, top Y value minus the bottom Y value equals to 5 units. Happy with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Next question, 5.4. For which values of x will f of x be greater than g of x? For which values of x will f of x be greater than g of x? So, if we look at our values here, okay? So, let's look at, uh, firstly, which is the graph of f of x and which is g of x. So, let's look at f of x first. There's f of x here and all around here you can see that it is above. Can you see that? Mm. F, that's f and you can see that it's above g. So let's look at g. There's g here. Right, going across. Right. So I'm making a mess of this diagram but we are solving our questions. Okay. So if you look at this. So what's my x value here? That's what I need to ask myself. What are my two x values at these two points? The x value here, as you can clearly see, the x value, what did we work out this x value to be? This is the coordinates of B. We said it's minus 3 over 2. Okay. So that x value. So we can write that coordinate again. And that coordinate is, I think it was, A minus 3 over 2 and 0. zero. So all we're interested in is the x value, here, isn't it? Mm. Right. And here we interested also only in the x value here. And we just worked it out now because the coordinates, we said the coordinates of D is 1 and 5. We're only interested in the x coordinate there and the x coordinate to write our solution. So it will be between those two x values that f will be greater than, what's this line called? G. So we'll write our answer as follows for 5.4. 5.4, we'll say x must be greater than this x value which is minus 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2 and less than this x value which is 1 and that's our solution okay and you can clearly see once again f is going to be they say greater than means the graph must be above the other function g 5.5, .5, calculate the length of AD. So let's calculate the length of AD. So here we got A and there's D here. All right. So if you look carefully and if you really have to focus on this diagram because I really wrote all over this diagram now. So let's look carefully. We can say that A, look at A, there's A down here, right? Okay. So there's A and there's D here. Okay, and E. Now remember that D, E 
is perpendicular to the x-axis. So if you look at this, what type of triangle is this here? It's a right angle triangle, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So in a right angle triangle, if we know two sides, we can find the third side using the theorem of okay. Pythagoras. Okay. So let's look at AD. So where's AD? AD is the hypotenuse, isn't it? Mm. So we can say that AD squared is equal to, let's look at this distance. So we already know this distance here. This distance is how many units? We said that this is be 1.5 plus 1.5. So it'll be 3 squared plus, and we just worked out this distance over here, 5 units. So that's 3 units, and that's 5 units. So it'll be 3 squared plus 5 squared theorem of Pythagoras, TOP, equals 2. And what we're going to get? 3 squared plus 5 squared.